Wednesday. Happy I Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. It is hump day. Happy hump day. It is hump day. It is Wednesday. Hope you guys are having a good day. Um, we've had a productive day. A productive day. I did. I don't know. I don't know about Tim. We haven't seen much of each other today because we were busy doing our own things. Um, but we got a lot done. And now we're going to craft. We're going to have some fun. We're going to craft. We're going to craft something for Christmas. Christmas. I'm super excited. Y'all, I have some wine cork. I have lots of wine. I, this is just one of three bags of wine corks I have. Um, <laughs> lots of wine corks. They're not all mine, though. I promise they're not all mine. Hello, Miss Patty. Hello, Christine. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Janine. How are you? Hello, hello, everybody. Say hello once you guys get here. Let us know where you guys are watching from. I feel like these cameras are really far apart from each other, so I'm like, boom, 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 back and forth. But that's okay. I'll bounce between a lot, too, okay? Hello, Chris McKinney. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Noel. How are you? Hey, hello. We're at two. We're at two, two, um, um, uh, um, oh boy. Hold on, hold on one second, y'all. We gotta fix that, because that's too much. Um, oh, because we have both. Mm -hmm. Can we? Okay, hold on, no, y'all, hold on, I know, I know. H hold on, y'all. I need, okay, we need to figure out, like, where we're at. Um, we're gonna, we'll just get rid of that. There we go. The, okay. All right. We got it. We got it. Text is being sent. Text is coming out right now for those of you that said, I didn't get a text yet. Hello, Kelly. My sister Kelly's here hanging out. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Penny from Virginia. How are you, Penny Sue? Hello, Suzanne Raymond. Hello, Marcy Winkler, Mary Winkler. Sorry yeah. about that. Oh, good Lord. Hold on, y'all. Edit message. Apparently, we can't use the word that these are from when we send a text message because it's sensitive material. Y'all, I'm so over it. I'm so over it. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to vent right now, okay? Can I vent to y'all? Can I vent to y'all? I'm so over the micro monitoring of everything we say. Ah. Oh. Yep. Um, hopefully I put it in the title of both these descriptions. So hopefully that doesn't hinder us and have them say we're not showing people things because, um, I did put it in the title. Y'all, I was doing my web. It's so bad. I was doing my website. Okay. So we're opening the storefront. We're going to talk. Listen, we're here to craft. I'm Christy with Christy's craft room. For those of you that don't know. And I'm not. This here is my husband, Tim. He hangs out in the craft room with me. He helps us get names okay. for the crafty mail bucket. Do all the things. Um, Sure, that'll work. Bottle corks. We'll call them bottle corks. <sighs> Y'all. Text message is coming. I promise. It's coming. It's coming. It's it, just, coming. it just went. It, it just went. So, y'all, um, it's so bad that when I was working on, I got the text, when I was working on the website, because we're going to have um, all of our store products of eventually will be available on our website for those of you that don't live local to be able to order from our website as well. So I was adding our hot glue tools or hot glue. This one, like, listen, y'all, I've had this thing a long time. It's, it's seen some love. Okay. Um, it's that, been, it's that, been, that glue gun has seen some crap. It's got some stories to tell. Um, but I was entering these and I'm like, Oh, 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 I probably should not put the word that this starts with the letter G on the website because now I have everything connected, the website and Facebook and all of the things connected. I, I got that figured out. I struggled with it a minute, but I got it figured out. But now I've got it all connected. Well, Facebook has strict rules on the promotion and selling of those things and i'm like but because i have that listed as a product are they gonna misinterpret what it actually is so i had to not call it a hot glue mm, i had to call it a hot glue tool on my website so if you're on my website at some point in the future when these become available and, it's, and you're wondering why it's called a hot glue tool and not a hot glue that's why <laughs> That's why, y'all. The things you got to think about. The things you never thought you'd have to think about hey, um, Marcel, when you're in the crafting business. <laughs> Marcel, it would be easier if you sent us a message. 
Yes, so we don't always. Y'all, girl, I won't remember. I won't remember. By the time I get off of here, I'll be like, somebody wanted me to send them a message, and I don't remember. I don't remember so, who it was. So send me a message, um, and we will get it to you. It is possible, maybe, um, if anyone else gets in there tonight, because um, the crew has been helping me the last um, couple weeks, especially with messages, because... They've been awesome. They have, because we've had a lot of messages and stuff, and a lot of extra stuff going on with the... Um, homemade Christmas masterclass and so they've been helping me out so if someone else might get in their site he can get you that link otherwise I'll get it out to you tomorrow okay so yes yeah, send us a private message all right y'all we're gonna craft we're gonna craft I have dust everywhere well cork dust everywhere I have a surface that I'm using I got a surface I got this on clearance I got it for it says $4.99, but I feel like it was probably cheaper than that. But maybe I did. Maybe I needed some larger surfaces, and maybe I spent $4.99. Usually I get these 90% off. I probably Hi, didn't Jenny. spend $4.99 on it. Um, I have a couple Dollar Tree tiles that I'm going to use. I'm going to use some wine corks, and I'll tell you how many I end up using in the end. Um, I'll tell you where I got these in a minute, too. I also have, just to add a little bit of something, a little bit of soft color to our tree, these are from Dollar Tree, and they are just the berry garlands, and we're going to use these to um, kind of fill in and add a little a little punch of color to our um, so, to our craft. Patty is, is giving a shout out to Austin. He's been great at answering PMs. Austin's been awesome. Austin's been all up in the um, private messages lately, y'all. He's been, I'll be honest, he's, he's answered a lot of the private messages for me. Um, he's been helping out a lot. I get in there as much as I can, but the last couple weeks, he's been really, really stepping up in the message department and helping. Um, this is a little Rusty Star from Hobby Lobby. You can get these in the little miniature section where they have all the little miniature ornaments and stuff for the little Christmas trees. That's where you can find these. At Hobby. That's where I found them at my Hobby Lobby anyways, because you never know. It's different everywhere. I got some white chalk paint. I got some green, my favorite green ceramic coat. Um... Wedgwood green, and then our tomato you, red. Maria. We call it tomato red, but it's like temp, temp red. Get you up close. Tomato red. Temp, temp. We call it tomato red around here. Looks like tomato red to me. Okay, I'm gonna use my little saw, my little Fiskar saw. We will have these in the store very soon. I thought um, there was something on the website. Well, they're in. Yes, we have them in the store, but we don't have the website activated yet. With them, I'm still working on all of that. So, and my razor knife, oh, it's at the shop. Um, you got one? You got one I can borrow, babe? Okay, Tim's got one I can borrow. So I am going to, first, I'm gonna separate this. So these tiles, if you Ooh. peel the clear, it'll be sticky, okay? But if you're gonna cut them, the sticky is only attached around the edges, so it's gonna not, you can't use that sticky to attach it. It's not gonna work once you cut it. So we are gonna go ahead and remove that. Um, where's the knife? Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. How sharp that blade is, I'm not 100% positive. Oh, I hope it's sharp, because I need it to be sharp. If That's okay, not, we'll make it work. I, I think I got some more blades. I'm just gonna cut around. a little slit here to get it going. And we're just going to remove the white and the clear. The white and the clear, and it peels off geez, usually pretty easily. Hello to Rancho go. Cucamonga. Hello. All right, there you go. Once you get it going, it comes off pretty easily. <laughs> uh, Kathy is uh, uh, asking, do you still like your um, contacts? I still like my contacts. Overall, they work well. Every once in a while, when it's like dim light in like nighttime, I kind of feel a little bit like, or if I'm on the computer a lot during the day, sometimes it gets a little, a little awesome, bumpy. Marcel. It doesn't work as well, um, or they don't work as well. And I still feel like I need to stretch my arm a little bit, but I can like mostly like craft and like I was to the point you guys where it was hard for me to craft without my contacts. Um, for close up, I've always worn contacts and glasses for distance since I was like 12. But um, I've only recently needed them for up close. So that's been a new experience for me. Oh, um, 
still is that? Who but I do still overall like them. Ooh, look, see how easily this one came off. That other one was sticking a little. Sandra, this one? Sandra, um, you can buy those online from um, the Dollar Tree too. These? Yes. Yeah, you can, but you gotta buy them in a case of fifty. So get together with your girlfriends and your crafting buddies and split a case because you gotta buy fifty. But I will be gifting. I'm gonna gift um, to two people. We're gonna pick somebody off of Facebook and somebody off of YouTube tonight. They're gonna get two tiles, because we're using two, and they're gonna get um, however many wine corks we use, plus a few in case you have some mistakes. Um, I can't send you the board and all that, but I will send you, I'll send you the wine corks, the corks, I'll send you the, the bottle corks, I gotta quit saying that word, um, and the tiles. So you can make a craft, all right? And then you can add your own other embellishments however you want to embellish it, okay? So I'm going to kind of find the center-ish. It's not going to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to kind of find the center of my board here. Like so. What does your shirt say? Maybe coffee is it not? Maybe coffee is addicted. Oh my gosh, to I don't know, but I got, I, you know, I just noticed I got like, who knows, something all over my, all over my chest. Can you even see that? I don't know. Oh I yeah. I dribbled something. Oh. What is that? That's the sauce. Oh, the sauce, the sauce for dinner, y'all, that sauce. Yeah, it it's, um, doesn't surprise the sauce. me. sauce. Um, all right, so I'm, I want this centered. I want the seam in the center. I don't want it like at the top, oddly, oh, or at the bottom, sure. oddly. So I'm kind of finding the center. And I'm going to just kind of like put a little crease here where I want to cut it. Just a little, a little crease. A little crease right there. Like so. All right. And then I'm going to fold it using these lines to line it up. Susan says, ah, the sauce. The sauce. It was the sauce. sauce. So I'm just going to create a crease across here. So I know so, where to cut it. Get ready, y'all. I'm going I'm to um, grab some names here in a minute. And I'm going to... I'm going to get this out of the way for a minute. So I've got my crease there. So I know this is where I want to make my cut mark, okay? So I'm gonna lay it like this. I'm gonna pick us. If I had my ruler in here, I'd use my ruler, but I don't know where my ruler is, y'all. Okay, but I'm going to line up my edges here. Oh, Jenny, we haven't had supper yet. She was she was sneaking. I wasn't really sneaking. I don't know if I'd call it sneak. Well, I kind of was. Sneaking. We haven't eaten yet, but I was like, you know, I'm a little hungry. I just need to grab a nibble to tide me over. We're having stir fry, okay? And Tim and Elena made it. Tim kind of concocted the plan and, and kind of guided Elena through it, okay? Yeah, Elena Elena did 98% of it. So I was like, I just need a little nibble of chicken. So I grabbed, a, but he didn't mix the sauce and stuff in. So I grabbed a nibble of chicken and I decided, well, I'm gonna pour a little bit of sauce in. And as I was pouring the sauce on, Tim's like, um, it just, you don't need much. And as I'm putting it in my mouth is when that's registering in my brain. Cause sometimes my brain doesn't register fast. And woo, he was right because the sauce is strong. Don't forget it's to strong. the fact that you had a huge glob on it. I had a big old glob on it. I mean, it wasn't, a, I mean, it was like, you, you can only control the pour so, so controlled, right? You can like, only. Don't, don't say that. It was like, it was like <laughs> that much. But the piece of chicken was like that big. So I thought, okay, that's equivalent to it being like it's tossed not in the sauce. <laughs> it's not ranch. <laughs> you can never have enough sauce. Where's my sauce dippers out there? Where's my sauce dippers? I know y'all, you like to dip everything in a sauce. You got some sour, uh, sweet and sour sauce, sour. some barbecue sauce. Some honey mustard sauce, some ketchup sauce, all the sauces, ketchup right? Ketchup's sauce. not a sauce. <laughs> ketchup is a sauce. It's ketchup a is a ketchup. Ketchup is a sauce. It's dipping sauce. Ketchup is a dipping okay. sauce, okay? If you, I, I, I suppose, y'all, I can never get away. You can't go that way because you're going to hit our camera. I know. Um, go so. Ooh, pasta I, As I go to pop it in my mouth, he says... You don't need much. He's right. You didn't need much. It was really strong. 
and very salty. Yeah, no, I <laughs> was, and I was like, ooh. I and I think when I went, oh, some pulled. of it must have fallen out and dribbled a little, and I didn't realize. So I don't mind my hot mess here. Okay. Since when is there a sauce limit? <laughs> right, there is no sauce limit. Oh, exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh, oops. My stickiness stuck to my paper. Um, yeah, there should never be a sauce limit. No limit right. on the sauces. We got uh we're gonna have to trim our edges a little bit too, but we'll get to that in a second. I'm let, just me, kind of let me get some names here. Get, yes, get some names. Let All me. Right. I'm gonna while he gets some names, I'm gonna kind of line this up. Did I do the right side? I did. We have not very Kelly easy. Alford, Jenny Roberts Day, Tammy Jones, Chris McKinney, Sandy Howell Barnby, Shelly Bow Bowling, Jennifer Mills, Patricia Sawyer Allman, Sharon Henson, Kimberly Buck. Cynthia Stone and Kimberly Cotto. Patricia, are you already heading up? Are you off to go hunting, Miss Patricia? Miss Patricia, are you going? You ready? You're she going. She said, "Thought of you earlier when I went to Lexington and passed Elgonac on." I named oh no, she's going to see oh, her sister. She's going to see her sister. She's go visit yep. her sister in Lexington. Yes, Miss Patricia's gonna go see her sister in Lexington. That's right. Yes, but Miss Patricia, that woman, I, I love her. I love her. She's awesome. She's pretty awesome. We got lots of awesome friends here. Miss Patricia, this woman, she is she is going hunting next week. Well, in what two weeks, I guess. Um, yep. But she heads Shoot. up. Okay, I got my crease. I'm gonna move this out of the way so I can draw my line. Just like we did before, I'm just going to use this this other piece, the straight edge, not the not the edge I cut. Thank you, Mary. Edge. And we're just going to create. Oh, oh we'll we'll try, Mary. I'm sorry. This is make me feel better with your humor. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling very. You're not feeling humorish. No. No. Well, you better pull out I'm the not. humor. Pull out the humor. Who was that, Mary? Miss Mary. Miss yeah. Mary needs some humor. You need to bring out your humor. Because it's... I can hit your funny bone. No, don't do that. I'm sure I could find something. <laughs> I'm sure I can come up because with Because it's my, my tooth is hurting. Tim's got a toothache. It's hurting. Got a toothache. Oh, it's back killing me. Ache. Yes. He's, I, yeah, when he's I was, got the man cold. That's right. <laughs> I'm just I've got the man flu. He's got he's he's got the man aches. Yes. No, when I was You'd think the man had cramps or something. <laughs> your god dang dog. <laughs> Y'all, T-Bone, y'all, we're all over the place. Listen, if you are new here and you can't keep track because we're like squirrels all over, get used to it. <laughs> that's the way we are. <laughs> that's the way we are. Um, So, yes, that's where my sauce. I did finish the sauce story, okay? I, so, if those of you that are just popping on and see I got a dirty shirt on, it just happened right before we went live because I couldn't be patient and eat, to eat my dinner later. I shoved a nibble in my mouth, Okay. And now the evidence is there. Okay. But T-bone. T-bone. I'm going to strangle it. We got squirrels. Dog. We got squirrels like no other around here. Y'all, some of y'all can we got relate. Chipmunks. The man flu. Yes. 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 The Jesus people. Yes. The man flu. Yes. Y'all get it. That's all we got to say. I'm just kidding. No, he's he's it's justified, but I like to tease him. But yeah. T-Bone, he loves to go after these squirrels. These squirrels, y'all, are driving us crazy. And they're driving T-Bone crazy. And T-Bone, it's a good thing we don't work in the pole barn out back here anymore. Because if we did, we wouldn't be doing this right now if we oh, were out there doing it. I was going to say it. I got a picture on my phone of it. but T-Bone, we'll, 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 we'll back up a couple days. We caught him chewing the wires on Tim's trailer the other day. The wires. Because a chipmunk. The wires that had, connect had all the lights and everything. There. A chipmunk. These aren't chipmunks. It's not even the squirrel so much. I think it's the, it's, it's the chipmunks. I think it's the yeah. These dang chipmunks are getting up. And they're like crawling in through the piping of the of the trailer. And T-Bone's trying to get to them. So he's just chewing on the wires. I don't know what he thinks. If I chew these wires, it's going to get me somewhere. It's not going to get him anywhere. Um, so then today, Tim's out working in the yard. And he goes over because T-Bone's doing some, some like sniffing and digging. And he's like, what are you doing over here? He literally chewed the internet wires that connect from the house to the pole barn so we have zero internet in the pole barn right now i'm not happy because t-bone ate like I... he didn't just like chew the wire he literally cut the wire in half and cut a chunk out of it there's like multiple pieces laying there yeah. from him cutting up the wire like, oh. that means 
Don't. I have to rerun the whole god dang thing. Y'all, I hope I did this right. I feel like these look like not very long pieces. <laughs> I hope I didn't cut too much off. <laughs> Patricia says, I'll be hunting from the 14th to the 19th. 14th Please to the 19th. Please don't open the store while I'm gone. The 14th to the 19th. 14th to the 19th. I'll do my best, girlfriend. I'm going to do my best. We'll, we'll give you a, 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 a um. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll give you a heads up as soon as we can but um we're hoping for i'm just gonna trim a little bit at a time off the edges um to make this fit i don't need a crazy ton off the edges i think if i just kind of cut the little seam off the edge it should be pretty good uh t-bones t-bones what four He's four. He, he, he's, yeah. it's, it's not puppy stage chewing. No. He doesn't chew anything else. Like, we were literally just talking about this the other day. We're like, he doesn't chew anything. He doesn't, he's not really a chewer. He does not chew, um, ooh, perfect. I love when it works out just right. He does not chew, um, he does not, he doesn't chew shoes. He doesn't chew, the only things he chews is he chews the corners of his bed. If it's a nice stiff square bed, if it's a fluffy, like floofy bed, he can't have like a luxury fluffy bed because no, he chews it to pieces. But if it's a stiff foam square bed, he just kind of nibbles at the corners and eventually rips the corners open. Um, and then if you leave like damp hand towels in the kitchen and you're not there, and you walk out of the room, he'll snatch those and go hide under the coffee table in the living room and nibble on those. Um, that's about all he chews. And apparently electrical wires and internet yeah. wires. So, yeah. Bone. Oh, look how good that worked. Look how good that worked. Such a good fit. I'm going to, I, I'm thinking, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just leave it. But I think I'm going to go with my original plan. Before we attach it, we have a little bit of work to do on them. A little bit of work, a little bit of work. So we're going to take some chalk paint. Chalk paint, it works best on these. It sticks to the shiny plastic a little bit better. I'm going to add a little pop of color, but I'm going to do that after with just acrylic paint. Okay. Oh, I hope I have my little tool. I do. I do, I do. Actually, we did change his dog food. We did. Oh, maybe he's, maybe he's missing something that's found in wires and he's... Yeah. Like iron. Maybe he needs, yeah, some, <laughs> Maybe he iron. needs some, some, what is it? No, what is it? Copper. <laughs> Maybe he needs some copper. Isn't that what's usually in wires? Isn't that usually what they steal yeah. out of old homes? Yeah. Like in, in, yeah. So it's, uh, um, yeah, but it's, we went to the um, Purina. Well, we got to switch. Did you get the same one again? Yeah. We got to switch again because you didn't get, I, th I thought we weren't going to get that again because it has corn in the first three ingredients. It's not supposed to have cornmeal oh, in the I first three know. ingredients, is what our, our vet tech friend told us. So, um, I don't know. He's not scratching as we much. We always make so. sure the first ingredient is meat. Um, and then I guess you're not supposed to have cornmeal or I think oatmeal in the first three no, ingredients. No, it's got I think it's, it's, it's rice. Rice. No. It's not supposed to have corn or rice. No, it's not supposed to have corn. I don't know. We'll have to ask Hi, her Jody. Again. Yes, we see you. We'll ask her again. I don't know. I'm painting these white, and we will come back with our now, sanding. Now, Liz, um, she said her cats chew electric cords. <sighs> now. Well, that makes sense, because cats like anything stringy, right? Don't but, they? But isn't that what happened at, at, at Pete and Sarah's house? Their, their cat in the Christmas no. tree? No. Oh, oh, well, yeah. The first time? Yes. Yes. They had a live Christmas tree, and they had a cat. And the cat liked to get in their Christmas tree. This is my sister, um, my sister Sarah. The cat liked to get in the Christmas tree and chew on the wires. Yes, well, Jody, we see you. The Christmas tree caught on fire and they lost their home. Um, so yes, be very careful of that when you uh, have cats who like to chew on the wires. Um, yes, that was the <laughs> first fire, yes. Marcel says, Tim, read this to Christy. Christy, my dog has a tree that forks about 18 inches over her head when standing on her back legs in her fenced yard. Today, a squirrel was sitting in the fork of the tree chirping at her. Oh, I had to laugh. Yeah, that's funny. Sorry guys, I had a call trying to come through. I had to, I had to say not now. 
I'll catch you later. I'm a little busy right now, hanging out with my friends, doing some crafting. Yeah, Desi says corn and rice, I believe, because those are both fillers. Yes, yeah. So, and the one, the one that we switched to, it has corn in one of the first no, three. No, it's rice. One of them in the first three ingredients. So rice. we weren't gonna buy that one again, but I guess we bought that one again. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. He's, I'm not the one that bought it, so I can't complain, right? He's he's eating it? He is eating it. He's eating it better. He wasn't eating real great, and he was having a reaction um, to his food. So, so far, he's not having, although he was kind of nibbling, like, his back. Not his butt, but, like, up higher, like, his lower back. He was kind of chomping on that today a little bit. So, we got to keep an eye on him. He's got a little sensitivities to something. Yeah, we don't well, really know. Buck's gonna have a lot of sensitivity. He keeps <laughs> he's, eating crap. Keeps eating the wires, right? Right. Thank you, Miss Patty, for sprinkling. Yes, you guys. I almost I didn't tell you how. We're gonna gift um, somebody who sprinkles these this video. Um, we're gonna gift some wine corks and some tiles too. Okay, so you can recreate this craft with your own spin on it. Okay, because I know these tiles are hard to get. And I know not all of us can get this many um, wine corks. And I didn't drink all those, okay? I did. I did not drink all those. Tim did not drink all those. No. Um, our sweet friend, Miss Nora, <laughs> drank all those. No, I'm sure she, like, had help. I'm sure she had help. But our friend, Miss Nora, who was Jacob's preschool teacher, oh. I also got some from... She was Jake's preschool who was teacher. It? Who was so it? Was it Miss Lynn? She probably did the year he was is in Lynn, preschool. Is Miss Lynn um, Swatch here, Miss Lynn? I haven't seen her Because I think it was Miss Lynn, either Miss Lynn or Miss... Um, gosh, who was it that sent me? I think it was Miss Lynn gave me a bag of wine corks at the live event, too. Um, so I've kind of combined them all. But... Um, Miss Nora, Miss Nora, Miss Nora was Jacob's preschool. She's awesome. Like pre preschool teacher, I guess you can call it. Um, she was his teacher when he was three and four, and then she left us for his last year when he was five. Um, but she left us in good hands. She left us with Miss Karen, and Miss Karen took good care of um, well, yeah, Jacob that last year. Well, the last uh, her. After two years of Jacob, she's like, I'm done. She, Jacob sent this woman to retirement. She said, I can't do this anymore. After this kid, he wore me out. She, she, she's like, mm -mm, I just don't have it in me anymore. It's time for me to retire. Um, no, no. no. She technically she's didn't awesome. retire. She actually got um, transferred to, um, she, she got a different job. Um, it was like her pre-retirement job, I guess. A little less strenuous Ooh. than working with the little, the little. Uh, Welcome, Julia. She's a newbie. Welcome, Julia. I hope you enjoy it here. I hope you like it. If you do, I hope you hit that little follow button, hit the little subscribe button on YouTube. Um, follow us in all the places. In all the places. I can't stress that enough in all the places because, y'all, I don't trust any of the places because they're all, I don't know. They're all acting a little wonky lately, okay? The strangest thing today. So we have a sale on our website right now, okay? And everything goes to the subscription group first, the craft kit group. They get access to everything first. When we have a sale, guess what? It's for you first. Um, so I go to post it in there. And the last couple times I've gone to post in the group, and it's going to be a problem when I need to go live in there for our... We'll figure it out. We'll get it figured out. It we'll won't get be it a problem. But the last couple times... I'm going to dry this. The last couple times I've tried to make a post in any of our private groups, it won't let me post as the page. I have to approve her posts. Yeah. Like, it'll let me post it as the page, but then it has to go through the approval process. So someone has to come in and approve the post, but it won't let me approve the post. So I can post it, but then I got to reach out to somebody else and be like, hey, pop my head into Austin's office. Hey, Austin, can you approve my post? Hey, Cody, Jaden, can somebody approve my post in the group? Like, what is going on? It's just a hot mess. It's a hot mess. Um, so that's why I say follow us and, and subscribe and do all the things in all the places because you never know. If something goes wrong with one of these platforms, at least you can find us on the other platform, okay? Always have a backup plan. Always have an exit plan. Have an exit plan, right? That's our exit plan. If something ever happens... You know where else to find us if you're following us on the other places, okay? I did not draw the names on the first yet, but today's only the second, so technically... 
<laughs> are you not, sure you haven't we... drank all that vino with your family at reunion? I mean, we 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 would we could we could do quite a bag during a reunion with all the ladies and the wine walk and all that fun stuff. We 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 could fill a bag. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I I feel like it's Jacob's responsible for all uh, half of these wine corks. Yeah. Miss Nora is still Ooh. recovering. Welcome, to Janet. This day Another from newbie. Jacob. She's from Michigan. Welcome, Miss Janet. Where did you get the vinyl you're using? This is um, t tiles from Dollar Tree. It's the little Dollar Tree tiles. Now, be careful when you're drying these with the heat gun, even a hair dryer. Okay? It's thin plastic, okay? You do not want uh, to... Yes, I can post the shop link. You don't want to... Um, you don't want to melt your plastic, okay? So, just be mindful and cautious of that. I went really thick with my paint right there. I'm trying to get that to dry. Here you go. I'll... Uh... I'll pin the shop. I'll I'll pin the shop link. Yeah, I mean, put it in both places for them. Yeah, I will. Um, it is in the description of the video too. But you guys, we have a sale. Yes, we have a sale right now. All the fall items are on sale, and then I found a few random like summer things that were still there as I'm digging through and trying to organize and and clean things out. So I threw those into the shop and um, added those to the inventory for you. So the sale. You don't need a coupon, you don't need a code, you don't need anything fancy. All you need is to just go there, add it to your cart. It'll say that it's on sale if it's on sale, okay? The sale stuff starts on like page five. What's so you're gonna have all the Christmas stuff and then on page five is where the fall stuff starts. Uh, um, what size is that board? Here, here, here. Um, I will tell you what size that is in just a moment. It's gonna be probably like 11 by 14 is gonna be my guess. 11 by 14, 11 by 13, something like that. Amanda says, we're making it really hard for y'all, but it's different for us watchers as well, and I don't make it much. Yeah, I know. It's challenging. They, it, it's, it's a challenge for you guys, too, in a lot of ways. Um, they're not necessarily just because you follow us doesn't mean that they're going to show you the stuff on our page. Um, that's why we talk about things so many times, and we're like, we have a sale. We have a sale. We have a sale. We have a sale. We'll do a post. Did you we know we have a sale going on we'll right now? We'll, we'll talk about a sale on the live. We'll post a, a video about a sale. We'll, we'll post multiple times because we have 130 some thousand followers on our page. Facebook does not show all of them. Everyone who clicked and said, follow, I like this. I want to see this. Facebook isn't going to show it to everybody. They're going to show it to a handful of people. And then your next post, they're going to show it to another handful of people. And then your next post, you're going to show it to another handful of people. Some people are lucky and they see it more than once. Thank you, Becca. Or maybe she not says, so lucky. to anyone new. Christy and Tim are amazing. Aw, thank you. My hat's not going to fit anymore. I know. His head's going to get big. I need a paper plate or something. Or something. Well, something well, to put my well, paint on. I know. I didn't come prepared. I didn't come to the party prepared. Oh, here's a piece of paper. You got it? Okay. Tim's going to get me one. Um, so, so that's why we post a lot about things. The more you, like if you want to see more and you're like, oh, I really want to see everything they post. When you do see our posts, like hit that little like button. Comment something simple. And then you're more likely to see. There, when, when Facebook sees that you're engaging with the post and you're interacting with the post, and same for YouTube, they're like, oh, this person likes this, so we're going to show them more of this, okay? That's how the whole algorithm works. The dreaded algorithm. The dreaded algorithm. How about just like people said they want to see it, show it to them, right? How about that? There's always that, but that's not how it works. That's nope. not how it works. Love watching you guys on TikTok, too. You guys crack me up. Oh, Jan said the YouTube video was blurry for her, so she had to leave and come over to Facebook. YouTube, let us know. Let's see. What's, is it blurry for y'all? Well, How's I'm the rest of y'all doing? Get to it here. I know we were having a couple um, glitches when we were trying to go live. All right, so I'm That's... using a little bit of my green, a little bit of my red. It's a little bit. It's probably my camera's dirty. I wiped your camera before oh. I started, but I don't know. All right, so I'm using my little my little palette spreader tool. It's a little plastic thing. You can get these at Dollar Tree. You can get them at any craft store. Usually, like in the paint section, you're going to find these, okay? So I'm going to first take a little bit of the green. Oh, sorry about that, Sally. Got a little bit on there. Here we do the best we can. 
and I'm just going to scrape some of the excess off like that. And then I'm going to drag it over the high points of our um, tile here, okay? So I'm just going to drag it. Like so. Well, I, I, told, I told the dentist, I said, you know, I said, I'm going to go home and I'm going to have me a lot of adult beverages <laughs> and grab a, uh, grab a pair of pliers and I'll get that thing out myself. I said, no, no, you won't. Let's not do that. Let's not go that route, okay? Let's um, let's just be patient. Cause Take it's some ibuprofen. Because it's my my next appointment's not for two weeks. Yeah. So I got to deal with this for two weeks. And it doesn't help that it's allergy season time too. So I think that's complicating things because you know he has allergies. So then when your when your sinuses are inflamed and 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 you have a lot of like allergy congestion, it tends to like spill over and into your any tooth stuff you might have going on type of thing, you know? It kind of aggravates things, so I think that doesn't help. You guys got me started on crafts. Not the best, but fun. Kathy Dickman. It's okay. That's fun the thing. is the you're, number one. Yeah, as long as you're having want. fun and enjoying doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what matters. That's what's important. I love to hear that when people are like, you got me started on crafting. I'm like, yeah! that's the whole point that's like the whole point of what we do is just to inspire people to get creative to try new things or or the ones that you know i haven't i haven't crafted in years yes and... we have a lot of friends who haven't crafted in many many years and got and are getting back into it which i love that too <laughs> cynthia says i put my glasses on it looks fine on youtube now oh <laughs> That helps. That helps, Cynthia. That helps. Thanks for clarifying that and uh, giving us a little update on that. Um, yes, it helps to put your glasses on, girl. Put your glasses on. I know. But I'll tell you, you don't even realize sometimes. Because I know when I when my eyes started going for up close, I was just like, I was just thinking things were really tiny. And the lighting was just really bad. And it well, took me a while you, to Kathy. realize that it was actually my eyes. That were bad. <laughs> Kathy says, uh, uh, hi, you guys. I don't craft because I shake too bad. I'm 78 years young. Mm -hmm. But I love watching you make things, and I love Tim. Aww. Someone's here for me. I think there's a lot of someone's here for Tim. I don't think you're alone. I think there's a lot. There's some here for me. There's some here for Tim. There's some here for the crafting. There's some here for the hot mess just to make themselves feel better. That Sammy, their life isn't so trying. bad when they see our hot mess going on here. It makes, it makes them feel better about their life. Yes, yeah. They're like, okay, this girl can muster through some crafting. I can too, because y'all, I'm nothing. I'm no, I'm no professional crafter. I'm just a creative person Wait that enjoys what I do. Um, um, you do this for a living, share... so I think that makes you a professional. I still don't think that makes me a professional. It might make me, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's got to be a different word. There's got to be a different word, because I'm definitely not a pro crafter. Um, I don't know what the word would be, but it wouldn't be a professional, okay? Because there's nothing professional about what's going on here. <laughs> nothing. Oh, yeah. Patty, I, I really won't pull my own tooth. No. <laughs> I, I really won't. No. I'd so, like to. Before you go on to the next color, we're going to add just a little bit of red. We're not going to go crazy with the red, but I just want a little hint of red so it feels Christmassy. Um, but you want to make sure well, thanks, your, your other colors dry. Otherwise, they'll start to get mixed and they'll get a little muddy looking. And they won't be as pretty. So you want to dry in between. In between. There goes the <laughs> paint. In between each color. In between. Sorry, Desi. Okay, guys. Get ready. I'm going to grab some more names here. Names. Names. Names for the bucket. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Spread the love. Oh. Patricia said I hadn't crafted in years. And Janet. Janet. It's Itziak. Itziak got me back into it. And turned me on to your lives. Aw, thank you, Miss Janet. Miss Janet, Miss Janet. I think everybody knows Miss Janet in the crafting Janet. world. Miss Janet is a super, super awesome supporter of us. Yes, Kathy. Um, she's always sprinkling and spreading the love around here. And I know a lot of you found us through Miss Janet, so I appreciate that. Uh, yes, the dentist did start me on antibiotics. Just in, yeah. It was kind of a Justin Casey thing, right? Like, just kind of. I don't of, know. Oh, maybe it was an infected thing. I don't know. He just said, I'm going to call in some antibiotics for you. Gotcha. Are you allergic to anything? And where would you like me to call it in at? Seems like no questions asked. Send them over. <laughs> All right. A little bit of red. Same exact thing. I'm not going to go quite as. Ooh, that sounds good. Tuna casserole. 
been a long, have to make long time since we've had tuna yes. casserole. Mm. I've never really been a fan of tuna casserole, though. I love it. But... Mom used to make it all the time. Mm -hmm. My mom used to make it all the time, too. I think that's why. That's why you I mean, No, I mean, my mom... <laughs> that totally came out wrong. I think that came out she wrong. She stepped in that one, didn't she? I think I just got burnt out with it as, as a, a youngin' because I, I was never really a fan of it. And we had it a lot growing up. Um, we had a lot of casseroles growing up. I a love lot casserole. of casseroles. Because so, they're, 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 you know... They're budget-friendly. Very budget-friendly. They're affordable. And they're filling. They're filling. You can feed a large family. We have a large family. It's 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 minimal work for maximum feedage. Feedage. <laughs> that there would be a Christieism. <laughs> minimal work for maximum feedage. Yes. All right, I think that's good. I don't want a lot of red. Just a little bit. Ooh, tuna noodle casserole. Wipe this mm -hmm. off. And then put yes. this away. Okay, oh, I gotta get some okay. names here. Uh, Tim's getting some names. Get Tim's getting some, some names. names. I'm gonna remove this because we are, I think we're done with them. I'm gonna keep it handy in case I wanna add a little paint to something somewhere. I don't know. I don't think I will, but wow, I'm gonna keep weird. it, I'm gonna put right back there, keep it handy, okay? Okay, we have Susan Coke Tissot, Tammy, let's see, Groen, Kathy Goyer, Bernita Tuttle, Melody McCann, Marsha Wengro. Tina Woods. I got your package, Miss Marsha. Bale. I'm gonna open. I think I think I'm gonna. I have packages Sandra for part Campbell. of you. I think I'm gonna open them tomorrow. Oh, Bye. mom's on. Mom's watching on YouTube. Hey, mom. <laughs> Terry Miller. Mom's Sue on YouTube. Downey, Kimberly Buck. Deb Bell. Oh, thank you, Miss Jones. Michelle Field and Anna Vasquez. Mom's here. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Sorry, I really like. I loved your tuna noodle casserole. I'm just not a fan of tuna noodle casserole. Tuna, 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 say that five times fast. Apparently tuna you can't even noodle say it once. Casserole. I'm just not in general a fan of it. I don't know. I feel like the noodles soak up all the juice and it gets oh, it's dry. Yes, it's dance time. Is it dancing time? Careful not to burn. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Feel the burn. Oh, don't feel feel the burn, baby. Come on, get it moving. Woo! Feel that burn. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Forgot we were. In, forgot we had company for a minute. Whew. Got a little hot in here. Got a little hot in here. Okay. So can you now. Can up one of the tiles? I sure can. I sure can. I sure can. So there. It just makes them look like vintage um, tiles. Oh, I'm going to do one more thing. One more thing before we attach them. One more thing. Uh-oh. I know. This is like a whole craft in and of itself, just creating the just creating the board. But I promise you, I did a little bit of prep for this one. So once we get past this point, it's going to go a little quicker. So um, I actually prepped ahead of time. Cynthia Stone says, are you sure you're not from the South making up your own words? <laughs> I do that a lot. I do that a lot. Um, just a little bit, just to kind of blend your colors a little bit, softens the, the, the transition from one color yes. to the next. Blend. A little bit of blending. Blend. Just like you blend your face, you got to blend your craft, okay? Blend your craft. For those of <laughs> you that don't blend your face, blend your craft. But blend your face too, okay? Yes, some women need to remember that. Do a little blending. A little blending, a little blending. It's always fun when the 13-year-olds or 10-year-olds or however old they are these days when they start wearing makeup. Um, you Kelly, can tell the ones I'm, who got the blending lessons and the ones who didn't. I haven't put anything in the smoker in a, in, in a hot minute. Okay. Flip these this way. All right, so we're going to glue these in. We're going to glue these in. We're going to use our hot glue. Hi, Lila. My hot glue gun is probably Whoa. pretty steamy right now, okay? Because it's been plugged in a long time. And so I'm going to actually... Oh, you did grab some. Put my glue right on my surface. I'm going to give it a second to let it set. Not set, but cool slightly before I do my tile. Because if you go at this tile with really, really super hot glue, these are from Dollar Tree. They're super, super thin. It's not real tin. It's just plastic. 
it's going to melt and do weird things, okay? Which else is, uh, need to come to Louisiana, you fit right in. Ooh. Well, we are looking for where we're going to go for, for, for our family vacation. We are. We're trying to decide where... But it's got to be all-inclusive. Yes. I don't want to cook. I don't want to cook when you go on vacation. Okay? That's what it boils down to. I don't want to cook. I don't want to cook. Did I mention I don't want to cook? Beverly, we get our um, our sanding blocks at Harbor Freight. Yes, Harbor Freight. It's the best price we've found on them. Yes. Patty says, I need to blend my face with someone 20 years younger. <laughs> girl, girl, you go blend that if face. If you can figure out that, you will make a lot of money. Um, oh, she's, I thought, like, go get herself a 20-year younger fella to blend her face with. <laughs> she means she wants a younger face. That's the way I, I took it. I was thinking she wanted wrong. to get up close and personal with a younger face. <laughs> Blue glasses, pink glasses. Ha, ha, we interpret things. I'm thinking she's... Same phrase. We just interpreted it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not the same. Yes. Yes. We definitely see things and hear things very differently than each other. Very Ooh. differently. Come to South Cal Southern California. I'll cook for you. Awesome. I am going to California for my first time ever in January, y'all. Never been there. Going to Saudi Daisy for vacation. But is there anything that's all-inclusive Yes. in Saudi Daisy? Yes. Remember, I don't want to cook. I don't want to cook. I want it all built in. I want someone to do it for me. I want someone else to do those dishes. I want all those things. I, I, I say, you know, it's. I, I say we go on another cruise. It's kind of looking like it's going in that direction. Because uh, that's kind of the best option. You get your best bang for your buck on a cruise, it seems. A lot of good food. Yeah. And you just get to sit and have fun and enjoy yourself and not worry about the cleaning and the all the stuff. You know, maybe not the same maybe not the same ship we were on. Yeah, we'll do a different one. Something different. But the same company. Yes. Oh the size. The size of the board. Yes, the size of the board. I know there's a tape measure here. That's a big wow. tape measure. My what big tape measure, you have. It is I've heard 14 that before. and a half. No, it's not. 14 and a half by 11 and a half. Yes, I have. 14 and a half by 11 and a half. No, that's not what I meant. Okay, so now it's time to start having fun and getting into the whole bottle cork part of this craft, okay? All right, there's our board. Literally, you guys, you could hang this on the wall, and that would just be super stinking cute all by itself, okay? Look how cute that is. Okay? Oh, she's, but she'll be, nothing. she'll be in Southern California. Yes. Yes. All right. I should make her, I should make her tell you what, what she said the name of the city was. <laughs> y'all. Y'all, y'all in California will love this one. I'm not an English major, professor. I, I, I didn't even go to college, y'all, okay? <laughs> okay? I, I don't, like, reading is not my strong suit. I can count on one hand how many books I've read from cover to cover, okay? I, I'm, I, I, and I'm not proud to admit that. You should read. Reading's good. I'm just not much of a reader. I like magazines. I like articles. But, like, a whole book? I don't got time for that. So... <laughs> I was looking at the itinerary for this event that we were going on. I can't even believe I'm going to tell y'all this. I'm so embarrassed. So embarrassed. It's hilarious, y'all. Y'all. You're going to find that all corks are not created equal. Some are denser than others. Some cut through easier than others. Okay. Um, I did find a good technique for cutting these, though. So we're making a tree. And we're gonna the way we're going to stack these, we want the cork. We don't want to do, like, if we try doing the cork and stacking them, like, they're round and they're... It's just not going to work as well. It's not going to look as nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut our corks. And we want to cut them at an angle, okay? So we want one end thin, one end wide. Okay? So I'm going to tell you this instructions. I'm going to tell you about what... I'm going to tell you what I called the city that wasn't even close. And Tim... Oh, yeah, Don. Tim knew instantly. Instantly. Because he's like, where is it at? And I told him. And he knew instantly the actual name of the place. 
and was just like. Because <laughs> I actually worked in he's that like, city. You mean? And then he told me. But I'm going to tell you real quick how we're going to do this first, okay? So put your flatter end. Like there's always going to be an end that has a little bump in it, a little nipple in it, because you, you use the cork to. Oh. And, and so it gets a little a little dimple. No. Yeah, we'll call it. We'll nipple. call. We'll call it a dimple. Nipple. It looks more like a, yes, okay? So we're gonna start on, we don't want it to be even, okay? Can you all see that? Okay, so one side, so we're not cut, starting right in the center, we're starting a little offset, okay? And at a little bit of an angle, just tilt your little saw at a little bit of an angle. And if you drag the saw towards you, if you're using one of these Fiskar saws, you drag it towards you, you, um, you get less resistance. When you push forward, you get more resistance. So for starting out, I, listen, be very careful. Watch your fingers. Okay? Be careful. Okay? Okay? But you're just going to drag it back. What the hell is and you're not going to, like, push down hard. You don't want to mash into it. You just want to, like, ease through it. Okay? Ease through it. Okay? So you can see oh how it's goodness. offset. We're starting off on the side. And, you're, um, and we're going to do that a couple times, okay? We're going to drag backwards. A little bit of an angle. Tilt your saw. Drag backwards. No, Probably no, three, Rebecca. Three or four times to get yourself... Was an El Cajon. Good and deep into, into there, okay? And see how it's kind of going at an angle? And then once you get that far... Don't cut your finger. I didn't, thankfully. Once you get that far, then you can kind of start going back and forth. Don't mash down. Let's Let see. it gently work its way through, okay? Let's see. For our Southern California friends, the pillbox. So he if, asked me. If you're me, familiar with the pillbox. Okay, so now you can see. I might be showing my age there. One side is. <laughs> Not Chula Vista. That's more narrow. That's more wide, okay? Can you see that? And then this, and then this one is the opposite, okay? Because we cut it at an angle. Okay, so now when we put them on our tree, we have one Ooh, wide side, one narrow side. Okay, girl, I'm nervous for you. Nine stitches for me due to cork cutting. Girl, girl, that's just the why you go slow. Don't push and mash through. You want to let it just like work its way through gently and easily. Okay, if you don't feel qualified to do this, don't do it. Okay, okay, don't. Listen, I'm going to suggest you don't use a power saw for this because these are way too little. Oh, no way. And, 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 uh -uh. and it's not nope. a good, you can't get enough grippage on it. Don't, okay? Okay, I have red, I have red paint on my fingers and I was like, oh, did I cut myself? No, just red paint. So drag it backwards a couple times. Keep your fingers back. And then work your way through. Can't you wear gloves? You can wear gloves, but I feel like you can't grab a hold of it good with gloves. I'm not a, I don't like to wear gloves. I like to feel my fingers. Now I now okay. you say I, I wonder go. why I only have eight fingers. Right? <laughs> right? All right, we're gonna do one so, more. I already got a bunch of these cut because this would take a long time to cut as many as we need for the tree. Or can you hold the uh, cork with a clamp? You can hold the cork with a clamp. That's actually a good idea. Use the mini power saw. Oh, no. No, don't use the mini power saw. I wouldn't saw. use I No. I think like this is too dangerous to get your fingers close to this. You guys, I don't own a mini power saw. I'm not a fan of the mini power saw. I think it's a dangerous tool. I think unless you're trained and you fully understand, um, I just feel like it's an accident waiting to happen for a lot of people. So I would not encourage people to go buy a power saw um, unless you're trained well to use it. That's just my opinion. Those make me nervous. Those make me nervous. I would rather use something I have control of. I mean, you can get hurt with anything. You can get hurt with a butter knife, you know? Yeah. So you just got to be careful no matter what you're doing. And you got to use, you got to know your own limitations. Yeah, see this cork? It's not as nice of a cork to cut through as the others. Some work better than others. So you just got to go a little bit slower. Work your way through it. Now see, it's, I have, um, I have family that still live in, up oh. in Ramona. Do you want to tell them what I called the city, or do you want me to tell them what I called the city? Up in Ramona and um, Rancho, uh, Rancho Santa Fe. I like to cut on a board, so that way I'm not cutting into my table. When I do get to the bottom edge, I don't have to worry about 
um, leaving marks. Debbie says, so. uh, soak the corks in warm water. It softens them up. There you go. There you go. So warm water. she called it La Jala. I'm like, we're going to La Jala. <laughs> going to La Jala. Yes. Yes. And I'm like, I know. you mean La Jolla? I know. And, right. and for those of you that know that area, Pillbox is the little beach there. I've got a bunch already cut, ready to go. So you guys don't have to sit and watch me cut like 20 some porks or however many it and is. And right up from the beach is a Dairy, well, back then was Dairy Queen. I, I managed that Dairy Queen. So I told him when I'm there, I'm gonna go to Dairy Queen. I'm gonna take a picture in front of that Dairy Queen and send it to him for old time's sake. Alright. So. So we gotta bring our board back. Find our top. That's the top. I'm gonna put that away from me. So that's where the top of the tree is gonna go. And then you guys, last couple weeks ago, when we had craft night, I broke my my um corker. Corkscrew. Corkscrew. <laughs> I kept trying to think like I why oh I kept God, thinking are... I kept thinking wine cork, but I was like, that's not what it's called. That was, uh, <laughs> Kathy, it was back in 1989 okay. to, uh, through through 91 I was out there. I broke all the teeth off of it, okay? I broke it good. This came out, okay? So um, I'm going to use this. You can use something different for the stem. You can use um, a couple of your corks for the stem, but I thought it'd be super fun to incorporate this broken um, corkscrew into our bottle cork tree okay because why not right why not decorker 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 or decorker or decorker okay so i'm going to stick a little cork in here stick a cork in it it's a plate corker and we're going to glue this into place i'm going to use a combination of some e6000 and some hot glue to glue this baby down okay Glue that baby down. Glue that baby down. Glue that baby down. We'll get the cork How in the world it. did you break it? Okay. I'm trying to open. It's a, it's a very, in, that is a very inexpensive, yeah, you, you can, know, we're going to call it what it is. You, it's it's cheap. cheap. You can probably go buy a super, super cheap one just for this craft if you want to recreate it because you can get these so stinking cheap, okay? So stinking cheap. It was just a cheap one, okay? But I'm going to use some oh, E6000 Jenny, for no, this it's, because uh, it's metal. She's not going to a crafting event. No. No, it's a business. It's a business um, event. It's a business venture. So um, that's what I'll be there for. I'm going to get to meet um, some of my other business buds there. Hey, Lynn. I'm going to get to meet the be, meet up with the um, um, Cotton Chaos girls, y'all. The girls are going to be there. And I get to meet Aunt, um, meet up with Andrea and Whitney. We're coordinating our days there so that we can spend some time together. And I'm super excited. Super excited for it. Like, ridiculously excited. Um, so is it with Brooke? I don't think it's with Brooke. No, it's not with Brooke. Brooke. This one's not with Brooke. This is for um, um, for our subscription coaching group. Ooh, hi With from Newport Long News, Shore Virginia. Box. All right, so I added some E6000 across. I'm kind of holding the arms where they need to be. I'll put some at the bottom. I'm adding some hot glue. The E6000 is going to kind of give it a little... I'm not going to do it over my hands. Don't do it over your hands. The E6000 is going to give it more of a long-term hold. The hot glue is going to hold it more now. Ooh, hopefully I can get it on quick enough before my... Blue sets. Okay, hold on, hold on. It's wild arms. Kind of center it. Oh, Bernita says look for one in a Goodwill. You probably find these oh, ones yes. in a Goodwill. Yes, you could probably find these at the Goodwill, the Salvation Army, the Thrifter Store. Yes, all the things, all the places. Now, we're going to kind of have our corks coming up against oh, here. Sounds so, good, Peggy. Let's uh, get ready, guys. I'll, I'll grab some more names here in a minute. I'm going to add just a little bit of hot glue, kind of build up a little bit across this... Um, top here just to kind of help it out a little bit squirt a little bit up underneath there make sure she's on there good okay give her a little extra support because she's holding up a whole lot of corkage 
Uh, Colleen says, love the idea of incorporating the corkscrew into it. Yeah, that is fun. kind of cool. So I am going to follow this line across, this first line. We're just going to kind of follow, follow the arms. And I'll tell you how many I got going across here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm lining them up. Hi, darling. Just first to make sure, and then we're going to glue them down. I'm just using hot glue for this, okay? They're corks. The hot glue will do just fine. You're not going to need E6000 or anything fancy, okay? Like so. Hmm. And then we'll kind of like... I think straighten out our line hmm. in the next row. Hmm, what? You are out of here. Who's out of here? No. Are they being inappropriate or are they being rude? The, um, oh, they're not being appropriate. Mm. Just the, appropriate. the name of it. Be appropriate or you're going to be out of here. Just the name of it. Oh, oh yeah, the, the triple, um, mm-hmm. Yeah, you're probably not. You probably did not find the right page when you clicked on here, okay? Yeah, no. Okay, we don't need your spammy little links, okay? We can find our own way there if we really wanted to, okay? We don't need you. Yeah, we don't need you here. All right. Let's get this okay, one. we have Stacy White Knight, Virginia Gert Hensley, Cheryl Johnson, Elizabeth Nickel. Julie Brow, Crystal M. Elliott, Marjorie Sherelle Bowring, Darlene what? Golden, Pauline Wise, Crystal Foster, Cheryl Henson, Levada Lavnier Vance, Tammy Taylor, and Sue Downing. I want to pick a good cork for the stem because, because, ooh, that one's kind of cool. That one's kind of cool. Big old word. Oh, this one says Chateau. Huh. Sharon says she never saw it. Good. Then I did my job Tim did appropriately. Tim job. He was nice and quick with it. What is this one? Uh, words I don't understand. Words I can't read. What do you mean? I don't learn a foreign language. Okay, oh. I can't read English half the time, y'all. La Lahola. La <laughs> La Hola. La Hola. What did I say? La Jola. La Jola. Yeah, La Jola. La Jola. Yeah, go to La Jola and get some Japalenos yes. for your nachos. Yes. Yes. I'm in trouble when I get there, y'all. They're going to be like, this girl, this girl's definitely not, definitely not from around here. She's definitely, ooh, I don't know. All right, we're going to go with this one. We're going to go with Chateau. 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 We're going to go with the Chateau. Actually, I like a longer one. So we're going to go with the Petre. Petre? 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 I don't know. Let me see. What is it? P I T R A Y. 2012. Oh, right. It's a vintage 2012. Okay. We're going to put some hot glue under there. Slide her in. Slide in. Put a little bit of hot Straight glue. to the top. Slide around this edge. Lock her in. So she don't have anywhere to go. Okay. Don't put your finger in the glue. <laughs> Don't put your finger in the glue. Happy birthday, Pauline. All right. So next, we're gonna we're gonna go in between each one. Okay. So we gotta decide: do we want to follow the wonky line, or do we want to just create a straight line? And we'll decide that right now. We'll decide that. We'll decide that. Ooh, welcome, Joan. She says first time she's caught us live. Joan, it's welcome, awesome. Girl. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Wider, I feel wider like... Wider corks towards the bottom? Huh? Wide, wider part yes, the, the wider part goes towards the bottom. So, because you got your wide and then your narrow, and then your next layer is going to go on top. That way it's not sticking way out. Okay? So, yes, wider part towards the bottom, narrow part towards the top. I think we're going to like arch it a little bit and kind of follow it a little bit. I think that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm leaning towards. Kind of follow the curve. Cause I feel like it'd be weird if we went completely straight. So we're just going to kind of follow it a little bit. 
And I'm kind of working my way from the middle out. <laughs> Kathy says, where do you get your ideas? Y'all, people Who ask me that, knows? and I never know how to answer that question. I never know how to answer it. Um, <laughs> I feel like Gee, you're thanks, in Lila. inspired by every place you go. Everything you see inspires you. I had this big old bag of corks, and I'm like, we got to do something. And I'm like, it's Christmas time, maybe Christmas tree. Um, Lila says, welcome, Joan. Lives here are always interesting with these two. Aw. I think that's a compliment. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting, that's for sure. That's for sure. I'm being slightly generous with my hot glue. No, Rebecca, I was not in uh, uh, San Diego for that. I didn't get there until March of 80, no, April, March of 89. You were only, how long there. were you there? You weren't even there that long, right? Only really? a few years. Not too, too long? No. About three, two and a half years. Not that long. Last one for this row, and then we're just going to continue to build this oh, up. Oh, have a good night, Marcel. She says she's got to get up at four for school. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. Get some sleep. Get some sleep. Uh-oh, what's going on here? What's going on what here? What did you do? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I worked my... <laughs> I'm like, what happened? I didn't glue these ones yet because I started from Oh, my this. God. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, why are they moving so easily? My glue's not working. What happened? Yeah, because I started from the center. I'm working my way out. Gosh, talk about give yourself a heart attack. Those are the types of things that would go wrong when I'm in the middle of a live. Is no, Missy, I, I was not in the military. Funny story, how I got out to San Diego. <laughs> well, not really funny, but well, I'm glad it didn't work out. No, that was why I came back. Oh, that's right. I'm still glad it didn't work out. I moved out to um, my my grandmother moved up to San Diego. And when, when she had passed, I went out there for the funeral. And I got off the bus in, well, I got on the bus in Traverse City, Michigan in March, middle of March. And there was three feet of snow, three inches of ice on everything. When you left? When I left Michigan. And it was 72 hours on a Greyhound to get from Traverse City to San Diego. I got, I got off the bus. Our first stop in, in California was in Barstow. And Barstow at that time was a post office and a liquor store. So... But I got off the bus in Barstow for our for a uh, a stop, and I'm like, I'm home. I ain't going back. <laughs> Middle it, March, it's it, 70 degrees. I was gonna say, was it the weather or was it the the the, the, the store choice that was there? <laughs> Just kidding. I was only 18. Oh yeah, you were like. Heck I was yeah. only 18. Heck yeah. So. 18. That'd be like Trevor. 18. That'd be like Trevor moving out to California on his own. I mean, you had family there, but yeah, but you were basically so, on your own. So I, I stayed out there for a few years, um, and then I moved back to Michigan. I'm glad it didn't work out. For my high school sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. that didn't work out. But she got him back here, so thank you, girl. It thank you, girl. Her. Thank you, girl, for getting him back here for me. God has a plan. So he wouldn't have come back here otherwise, probably. No, because I've been in prison. And I've never been to California, so we never would have met. So it's a good thing you followed the plan that you didn't realize you were following. Or for trying to follow a different plan. <laughs> it didn't work out. Yeah. Yeah. So. Sue Downing's husband used to drive for Greyhound. Wow. And it was funny because it's, I was, okay, small town kid. Never exposed to nothing. Nothing. Like I said, I'm being generous with my glue. Generous with my glue. Okay? Be generous. And uh, um, 
So, and I mean small town. My graduating class was 56 students. So, very small town. How we're looking so far. Looking good. And so, our first stop, we didn't stop in Detroit. Our first stop was in Chicago. They didn't even stop for like a potty break somewhere? Well, there was... There was a couple of small. Well, so I could stops. never make it that long. No, I could never make I think it that far. There was far. two. I think there was two stops in in small towns. And, but our first stop at a major stop was uh, Chicago, and in Chicago, the bus station is underground. Oh. And it's a city unto itself, and. Okay, well, I'm on. I'm on. Tell you guys how it is. I was, you know. The, oh gosh, you were not telling. No, I am going to tell. No, it. you were not. Don't take this wrong. Don't take. Don't this take wrong. this wrong. He was. This is a, how I was raised. It's was, not how I am. No, no, but I feel like the story could be taken very wrong. So, so just listen to the whole story and, before and, you and, pass and judgment. A chance to get to know who we so, are because I don't like. I, I, well, I understand it, but like I. I feel like people can take it the wrong way. So. Yeah, it's. I wasn't exposed to anything. I mean, a very small town, um, and there were no people of color. He was not from a very diverse area. No, a diverse area at all. There were no people of color uh, uh, where I grew up, and the only place you know we really had any exposure was on TV. So, and, and um, the woman that gave birth to me was a very, very... He was, he didn't have good influences hate, in life. A hateful person. No. So, and so I get to Chicago and we get on the bus, you know, to head out of Chicago. And um, our, next big, our next big stop was Amarillo. So there was a lot of little towns there, but this, this just wall of a guy... I mean, this this guy was absolutely just just huge. Um, sat across the, uh, the sat across the aisle from me, and you could smoke in the back three three rows. Uh, back then, you could still smoke in the back three rows of a greyhound, and um, so we're both sitting back there, and you know he was a, a very large man of color, and he just you know he. he Asked me if I wanted a sandwich, and I, you know, he had a very thick accent, and I couldn't understand what he was saying. And um, it turned out him and I talked all the way to Amarillo. Nicest man I have ever met. And, he left out part of the story. You were like when you first walked on the bus, and you or he sat next to you. You were a little like, oh I was. no, he was because of the way I was raised. I was afraid. Sorry, you probably censored that out because yeah. I was like, "No, tell this story." Yes, yeah, I was. I was taught that they were to be afraid of that they were going to hurt you because that's just they're, they're mean, nasty people. And that's not the truth. And it's not the truth at all. Um, this guy was just absolutely amazing. So it kind of changed his impression. It that did. Was like it really changed. It, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was uh, very altering because it's like, wait a minute, this dude's just like I am. <laughs> Ain't nothing different. So it was, you know, he offered me, he, he called it a, a sandwich. He offered me a sandwich. And I couldn't understand what he was saying. And so it was, you know, him and I talked uh, most of the way to Amarillo. And it was just amazing, this guy was. So it was fun. I enjoyed it. I, I think it was 72 hours well spent. Yep, yep. It definitely opened my eyes to... A lot more world that was out there. Yes, I know. So it, it's sad. so it's sad it doesn't that matter. Some people are how think that way. you can always learn. Yes. So yes. I mean, you only know what you're exposed to, and you only know yeah. what you're taught. So it's good to get out and and learn for yourself. How many cores do you figure? I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna do a count as soon as I'm done. I didn't really do a count yet. That's a big old tree. I don't remember how many. This is a big tree. You could do a smaller version of this if you wanted to. You don't have to make your tree quite as big as my tree. 
You could do a smaller one. I hope my tree doesn't get too tall. So. I know my glue gun's getting a little, a little tired. I gotta keep putting it back on the base so it stays hot enough. Thank so you guys yeah, for it was, sprinkling. It was, it was a lot of fun going out there. Yes. Sherry's graduating class had 24 kids. Wow. All right, one, two. I will count these and give you guys an exact count. Yes, Susan. Okay, I think we're good. Every, you know what, everybody does have some more issues and, and speaks a little bit differently oh depending on where they're from. Goodness gracious, the way I speak, you all. <laughs> I don't know what explains the way I say things. I just, I say some weird words. I did not order so. the corks. The corks were gifted to me by um, a friend of mine, it, Jacob's former preschool teacher. Um, gosh, she was such a saint. She still is, but um, she was his very first. He was in the ECDD program when he was little. He had some speech delays and hearing loss and things like that. So he was he needed a little extra care and a little extra love at a young age. So he was in that program, and the, his teacher just, they just bonded. And I guess, like, I don't know, those of you that are teachers probably get it. There's, you know, you love all your students, and you bond, and you, you know, you make connections, but there's just some kids oh, that yep. just... Get ready, guys. I'll grab some names here in a minute. There's just some kids that you just connect with on a whole different level, and that was this teacher. This teacher connected with Jake, and Jake connected with her on just a whole different level. She actually, um, when they were closing the elementary school that she taught at, that he went to with her, she was in his class for two years. She was in the program for three years. She was the teacher for two um, and then Miss Karen was his teacher for the third year. And when they closed the school, they consolidated our school buildings, closed a couple of the buildings and moved all the kids together, merged them together. And so they were closing the building. So they had a big celebration and, you know, last hurrah thing. And so she came back. So he got to see her. So we have a picture of them together then. And we've been in contact. Facebook, that's the great thing about Facebook. We've been in contact with her through Facebook for many, many years. It's probably four or five years after she left that we connected on Facebook. So it was kind of neat to like update her on how he was doing and all the things that had been going on for him in, in his life. And she, um, I'm gonna switch that one. She, she actually came to his high school graduation party. Like she came and it was the neatest thing. It was so awesome. Um, for her to be here because she's where it all Hi, started Beverly. for him and then she got to be there and be part of where his you know when he graduated his, his grade school whatever it's called his I don't know what is it called all of it clumped together his his childhood schooling had ended um so she was there but she was so funny she was she didn't take nothing from the boy though like she she no. told it like it was he um and, and I'm not proud to say this, but he was three years old and we were, he had just turned three and we were working hard to get rid of the binky. The binky was a struggle for that boy oh. to let go of. And he only had it at bedtime and at nap time. But every once in a while, that little boy would find one tucked in the car, okay? So when we got to the school, we there we had, we'd pull into the parking spot right up by the front and she would come right out there and greet us, okay? And wouldn't you know it, that boy, I'm driving somewhere along the way. He finds that binky tucked down in the car seat from the night before or whenever we were out somewhere and he was sleeping in the car and, um, and dropped it. And he'd have that binky in his mouth. And she would be like, she would look at me, mom, <laughs> mom, what is this? We don't need this. Let's get rid of this. I'm like, it's only when she he's sleeping. Awesome. She's like, uh-huh, he's not sleeping right now, is he? I'm like, no, no. No. <laughs> no. But she was just so good. Like there was he he was he he was oh, he was an amazing little little boy, but he definitely gave us a run for our money. It was always the whole family was like, Where's Jacob? Where's Jacob? Everyone, even the men in the family were programmed to be like to like watch for Jacob because he was just, he had zero fear zero fear he would run out into the middle of the street not think twice he'd walk right off the edge of a dock and not think twice he wouldn't even think about like oh there's water I'm gonna go he just was very impulsive and um he we were at um a party a Halloween party at the school one time and 
he would get very overstimulated sometimes. And, and she just looked at me and she said, Mom, she always referred to the parents as Mom or Dad. And she'd be like, Mom, it's okay. If, 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 if you think he's ready to go, it's okay. Um, you don't have to stay the whole time. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Because it was just, it was very overstimulating for him. But she was such a great teacher. So she actually, um, her and Miss Karen, both teachers, stopped by the store front um, when we were there working one day. And the guy was actually out working on the window. So she stopped by and she's like, is Christy here? And I went out and saw them. And then she was like, I got a bunch of wine corks. Can you use them? And I'm thinking like, she's going to give me like this little zippy bag with some wine corks. She brought me three bags of wine corks. So um, that's where I got the wine corks from, from our friend, Miss Nora. So I'll have to send her a picture of the craft I made with it. And the funny thing was when they stopped and I was talking to them, I took a picture and sent it to Jacob. And I'm like, look who stopped to see me today, Miss Nora and Miss Karen. And he thought that was, he was just replying like, oh, that's so sweet. Um, so he, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to cut some of these and we're going to kind of tuck some in. I'm going to show you what it's looking like. I'm not going to do a single one because we're going to end up putting our star up here on the top. And I feel like it's just going to hide the single one anyways. Yeah. Okay. So we're not going to put, oh, look how cute that is. But before we do that, we're going to cut some of these and kind of tuck them in there and see how it looks first and decide if we want to um, glue them in or say forget it. All right. Okay. We have Beth Kennedy. Patty this is from Campbell, Dollar Tree. Connie Nicholson, Janet Idziak, Darlene Golden, Andrea mm -hmm. Hannigan, <laughs> Connie Nicholson, Sandy Howell Barn Barnby, oh, Sue Downing, Anna Vasquez, Kimberly Co Cotto, Lavada Lavnier Vance, and Sharon Henson. Andrea says they're so fun when they're little and then they grow up. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Right. Yes. Um but yeah, it was fun to see them. It was fun to have them stop by. All right. I think this is going to be cute. You could do like red berries if you have red berries too. I was kind of trying to stick with the kind of the neutral with just a little bit of color kind of feel for this. But you could add a lot more color. Or if you could do like the green, um, the green wired. Oh, what are they called? What are they called? What are they called? The green... Christmas tree ties. They're like wire, they're like pipe cleaners, but they look like green Christmas tree greenery. Um, you could stick some of those in between too, if you wanted to. I've done something kind of similar a few years ago, a couple years ago, two years ago, I did it. I think this is gonna be cute. I think it's gonna be cute. So, um, thank you, Lavanda. How many corks? Oh, how many corks? I will count them for you. I will count them for you. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 Five, cords two, cut two. in half. So there's 44 halves plus this solid one. So that'd be 23. 23 total is what I ended up using. And that's with starting with nine across the bottom and working your way up and just doing two at the top. All right. I don't know what's going on with that one? I'm going to cut a few more here. You don't have to put them in between every space. Just kind of space them out to what looks good. No, Missy, we, we haven't drawn the names no. yet. I'll, I'll try to do that tonight or tomorrow morning. Remind Tim didn't remind me. Yeah, it's my fault. It's Tim's fault. We're going to blame. We're going to put it all on Tim. I'll put it all on Tim. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Let's do another green one over here. I don't like that green one. So we're gonna yes, Tammy, you better. We're going to skip that green one. Well, only if you're not at work tonight. Put one right there. Let's 
see. Do... Tammy, she used her um, saw to cut them in half. I did. Very carefully as to not slice off any fingers. Yes, very carefully, very carefully, very carefully. All right, we're going to do one more, and then I think that's going to be good. I don't want to overdo it. I don't think we need a crazy ton. Let me see, let me see. Maybe... Lila says, at least it's not Lynn's fault. It's definitely not Lynn's fault this time. Definitely not. And Missy says, come on, we all know it's Lynn's fault. Yeah. All right, I'm going to turn this and show you guys. So just, I can't tilt it all the way, all the way. Just Sorry, Tammy. Just idea. Oh, hopefully. Some of them might fall. Some of what might fall. Stay. Can you guys see it? Can you guys see it? What do you guys think? Hearts, if you think we should keep it. Thumbs up if we... Should not. Hearts, if you like the little added berries, thumbs up if you think we shouldn't. She used her... Um, no, it's hard for you to see. She used her Fisker's handsaw. Yes. Yes, definitely go back and watch the replay if you're just popping on and you want to recreate this. Because um, I talked a lot about how to do... How to do it. Oh, I do see it. Oh, I think it's more hearts. There are some thumbs. Definitely, if you recreate this and you don't like the berries, where did I get that berry from? Then skip the berries if you don't like the berries. Marjorie says needs a pop of color. Well, yeah. You could add a pop of color. Where did this one just fly from? Oh, y'all. Eh? Where did this? Oh, right there. Right there. All right, I'm going to glue them in. I'm just going to use my... shirt from? My shirt, this is a shirt from Cotton Chaos. Cotton Chaos shirt. This was from, um, I don't know, a couple months ago I got it from them. So I don't know if they still have it in their shop or not. But y'all, they got a whole oh. bunch of new stuff in the shop. Jeez, hold on. Um, Let me find I it. actually just got a package today from them. A bunch of stuff that I ordered that I think I'll open with you guys tomorrow. It's got some of their um, fun stuff. But then after I placed the order... They came out with a bunch of new stuff. So I'm like, darn, now I gotta place another order. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to place another order because. Oh, where was yes. this one? Where was this one? Which one was it? The there. top one? Is it this one? Yeah. All right. Oh, let me trim this one a little shorter. You guys, this is turning out so cute. Oh, where was that? Was There's the. Uh... Cotton Chaos Link. Yeah, they just came out with a bunch of cute new stuff. I'm doing this off to the side here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not because I don't want to drip it on my board. Oh, shoot. Where does that one go? Okay. Yeah, Jenny says they have some amazing shirts that just released. They do. They do. Oh, boy. Where's that one? Yeah, they've got some cute stuff. So now I'm going to have to go place another order. Because I'm not going to be able to resist myself. Light bulbs. Do you think the replacement light bulbs for the glass trees will work? Oh, you could put the little the little bulbs. They also sell, I don't know if they have them this year at Hobby Lobby. Um, I know they've had them in the past where they've got the little string with light bulbs on them in the little miniature section where all the little mini tree stuff is. Um, those you could take off the string and those would be perfect size. Um. Where can you get corks if you don't drink? You can get corks from, well, there's a couple of places. One, you can go and get, um, a lot of times you can ask your local pub type places. Um, like even places like Olive Garden and stuff that serve a lot, you can ask them. Um, but you can also go to somewhere, the craft stores will usually sell packages of them. They're usually all exactly the same, and you don't get, like, the variety. Say, I, think they're, I think they're all just blank. Yeah, they're just usually just blank. Um, you don't get all the cute character on them that these have, but it is an option. Uh, did I get that one? Oh, someone says Amazon. Amazon. Yes, Amazon. You can get dang near anything on Amazon. All right, I'm going to tip it up. Make sure I didn't miss any. We're going to add our star. Get these blue webs. Out of here. Have you seen the new antique glass knobs at Dollar Tree? I have not seen the new antique glass knobs at Dollar Tree. 
I have not. You guys, honestly, I have not been to Dollar Tree to like just explore. I've ran in for like a specific thing here or there. Uh, can y'all see it? How cute. How cute. How cute. I like it with a little pop of color. All right. So I'm going to put my star on. So secondhand stores. Secondhand stores. Sometimes you'll find bags of them. Yep. <laughs> Um, put a post out on Facebook, ask your family and friends. Anyone have a bunch? A lot of people save them, but they don't do anything with them. And then they're like, what am I going to do with these? I'm never going to do anything with these. So I might as well get rid of them. Um, so you can always put a post out <laughs> and ask your friends and family Millie to says save them for you. That's what happens to me when I order from you. I do an order and then you put out even cuter <laughs> items than what I just ordered. <laughs> Sorry. I know I do it to y'all too. I know. I know. I know, so I'll be popping back over to Cotton Chaos. And oh, uh, well, Jenny order. says after four tomorrow because they're dropping new releases. Oh, I'll wait till after tomorrow. Oh. All right. Can you wait that long? I just wiggle, wiggle, wobble, wobbled um, the little hook, and it pops right off. I just use a pair of pliers. These are just pliers that look like a hammer, okay? We can help you with your tooth. Oh, Sharon says, or you can drink a lot. Or you could just take up a hobby of... Get a new hobby. ...wine tasting. Yes. All right. So I think I'm going to cut a piece of a cork here ah, to cork add it. like a spacer. I don't have my board over here oh, anymore. Oh, Martha says she bought two big bags. Oh, I bought two big bags at a yard sale. Oh, yard sale. There you go. So Not many yard sales happening around here right now. I don't know. Yeah, not right now. Some of the warmer areas. So I or created a, a little spacer. A winery, a local winery. Local you may be winery. able to buy them from them. Yes. Yep. All right. Some might make, charge you a small, a small fee for them. Ooh, that's too thick. I had this little one uh, cut earlier. Let me see if that'll work. That'll Bernita work. Bernita says right. her, her wine it's comes nice in a box. Thin. Listen, the wine that I drink the most has a screw top, okay? So I don't get too many of my own. Um, yes. Every summer we go to uh, the Sage Creek and, and she gets the sparkly one. I get the sparkly and I stack up and usually buy, I, I look like such a lush walking out of there. I'll usually buy three or four, maybe five bottles <laughs> because I know it's going to last me a long time. I know I'm not going to get there for a long time. So I will stock up on it and um, I'll have them. I'm gonna hold this, it's metal. I wanna make sure it sets before I, um, before I, before I let go of it, okay? And then we're gonna do the final reveal, guys. And we're gonna see if it needs anything else. We're gonna see if it's good. We'll take a little peek. Let me hold that a little bit more. Hmm. Hold that, hold that. A lot of wineries are switching to screw tops. It's easier and longer lasting. And probably cheaper, too. Probably. Probably more cost effective for them. Well, it's, I know uh, years ago I remember them talking about, you know, um, does it need a little cork, pop of color? Cork I know. trees uh, uh, not being as uh, plentiful. Yeah, did you know corks come from trees, y'all? Who knew? It comes from the bark of a tree. You just learned that. You, you, you're making it sound like you knew that. You're like, it comes from the bark no, of a tree. No, I, I actually I'll knew that. that. We just discovered that together. A couple no, I Ooh, knew that. It's, I just saw the video of how they did it. We just, okay. All right, we always knew it. I thought I had some red berries somewhere. So did I. Oh, they're at the shop. What? Why are so they? No, not the those two. I have other, I have like berries like this that are red. Oh. I did just gift a set of these to somebody. And that was probably <laughs> it. Hopefully that wasn't my last set, you guys. I'm going to see if I had some red berries and see if we should add some red berries to it. Shoot. I got one more place to look. Otherwise, I don't have any. Uh-oh. Let's get some names, Tim. Let's get some names? All right. Let's get some names. We have... Okay, uh, I'll do it on the fly here. We have... Uh-oh, what the ham sandwich is that? Uh, Candace Barrett. Jenny Roberts Day. Chris McKinney. Jennifer Swindoll. Trisha Gamaney. Connie Nicholson. Sherry Carl Engort. Connie Nicholson, huh. Kyleen Wyman, Linda Decker, Cynthia Stone, 
Tammy Ruchek, Linda Decker, Renee, Sue Downing, and Cheryl, Cher, Cher, Sharon Henson. Okay. And Hold she's on. still not back, guys. Hold on, y'all. Hi, Angie. You learn something new every day. Really? I know. She's over there. She's over there, like, digging through stuff right well, I now. I got totes for my Christmas stuff. And I she got totes. My Christmas totes. Like 30 of them. And if she's I digging through Christmas half Christmas of them stuff. now. Oh, man. man. And, it, and it ain't looking good. And it looks like, well, she, she run up Dollar Tree right now. She'd be right back. <laughs> it's tempting because I really want some red berries. I'm really telling you. I want some red berries. I don't. I have orange berries. I got orange berries uh, on the backside. Like, you guys, the ham sandwich. I should, I should pull you all over there and show no. you what she's doing. See how much trouble I can get in tonight. Show them my mess. Y'all know it's true, right? It's a mess over there. It is a mess. But we're working on it. We are we are um, slowly getting this stuff over to the shop. Ah, LOL. Pays off. Christie's Dollar Tree. We're we're slowly getting all this stuff over to the shop. Yay! So it'll all be in one place. These are from, I think... <laughs> Jenny says, you don't need red berries. Leave it alone. <laughs> I don't well, know where these she didn't are. say leave it alone. I added that part. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it might need them. I feel like it might need just a little... A little poof, 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 poof of red. Just a, a few. Yeah, it needs the red, y'all. It needs it. It needs it. <laughs> They're all saying you should have just painted the white ones. It would have been taking less time. It crossed my mind. It crossed my mind while I was over there. Well, they didn't say that. I, I kind of added the... It would take less time. It would I, save time. I kind of figured that. Um, But yeah, yeah. It needed the red. I think. Let me show you guys and you guys tell me. Y'all will tell me. <laughs> hang yeah, in there. Says, hang in there. We're going to gift um some of these quartz. people understand messes. <sighs> If you got a clean craft room, are you really truly a crafter? I mean, we all clean it once in a while. But if it's like always clean and tidy, when? are you really crafting? When? Are you really truly crafting? But when do you clean it? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> once every year or two. It'll be clean once we move everything to the new space. My craft okay. room over there is clean. Okay. okay. Oh, boy. This has been, <laughs> this oh. has been the, the, the craft area for so long. What, what are we, we going to do in this room? What do we do with this empty room? What do we do with this space? All right. Right. We were going to like leave this as a crafting space, but I think we're probably going to end up moving the bulk of everything over. That room will stay the storage room. That room is not changing. That's good. I can't take everything over there. There's not space. So I will take these thing. things seasonally it's almost, over there. It's almost four times the size of our pole barn. Yeah, but we... We ain't got no space. Right. We're, well, we're almost out of space. It's like sectioned off into areas. And we're... we're yeah, y'all. It is getting full. It is getting pretty full over there. Full over there. Okay. All right. Can you all see? I don't know if they're going to stay in. I don't want them to fall out. There they go. Trust me, it needs the red. <laughs> Trust Kathleen, me, it needs the red. Kathleen says... Uh, OMG, my crafts have spilled out and are taking over my dining room. Right? Right? Especially this time of year. This time of year, if you're a crafter, listen. The kitchen table, dining room table, what? Hold your plate on your lap, okay? Mom's got a project happening. Um, slide slide everything over a little bit. Slide it out of the way. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I need one more. Okay, one more. Miss Debbie. We, I, I passed by your house. You can't have a, a big enough space to take two days to organize. She's got a cute house. It is. It's adorable. So cute. So cute. 
It's a quaint little house. I, from what I hear, she's really taken on to the crafting and been gathering some supplies. So, um, Miss Debbie's one of I'm our. I'm just saying, one of our, from the outside, it doesn't look like you have uh, it, big enough for you to, to have some uh, to, to take two days. Miss Debbie is one of our friends who didn't craft before she started hanging out here with all of us crafters, okay? We are We're a bad influence on Miss Debbie. <laughs> we are a bad influence. We are a bad influence, but she's created some beautiful things. She has. Um, and I can't and wait to see all her homemade Christmas gifts she's going to give to everybody this year. And it's I, I love it because it's one when because I, I pass by we pass by her house when we're going to the shop. And I love seeing the stuff hanging on her door. Yes, we love her craft kit, because she's in our craft kit group, hangs on her front door. That's how we know that's Miss Debbie's house. We're like, hey, there it is. There's one of our crafts. There's a case of craft. Like, I know that. I yes. know that scarecrow. Yes. Yep. Yeah, that's it's fun. It's so fun to drive by and see our Debbie stuff hanging says, on someone's front uh, door. Yes, it looks small, but it's long. Three bedrooms. Really? Ooh, impressive. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't awesome. look like it's three bedrooms. Yeah, a lot of those houses over that way are like narrow but longer like that. So it's deceptive. Very deceptive. Okay, so I think I got them all. I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we're done, y'all. Get ready because we're going to gift a bunch of corks and a couple tiles to um, someone on Facebook and someone oh, on YouTube. I know, right, Jenny? That didn't take much, though, did it? Y'all, it needed the red berries. It was Jenny, worth the wait. Jenny says, this live is a lot longer than Mondays. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mondays, we were like, boom, boom, in and out, in and out. Made our little made our little holiday balls and got out. Um, no, this <laughs> one definitely made up for Monday bad, short ones. Bad influence on all of us. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. All right, y'all. Here it is. Here she is. I'm going to hold it up close for YouTube over here. And I'm going to hold it up close over here for Facebook. You guys, isn't that just stinking cute? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love it. This this might be, I know I say stuff like this a lot, but this might be one of my all-time favorites. I love this. I love this. I think it's so Yo, stinking cute. Doesn't she say this like every stinking week? I don't say it every week. I say it a lot. I say it a lot. I say it at least once a month. At least once a month. I think at least once a week. But this is good. This I, is my I, If I do say so myself, and I do you say did. so. <laughs> you did. I like it. I like it. And you could do a hanger if you want to do a hanger. I don't have a lot of hanging. Um, I have more space for shelf sitters. So Yeah, um, say that one three it's times a fast. Leaner, a leaner. A leaner. So, um, but how cute with the little, the little broken um, corkscrew and then all the corks. So we use 23 corks for this. But you could make a smaller version if you don't have 23 corks. But I feel like it shouldn't take two. You could you could go through 23 corks, grab a few from a couple friends here or there, and you could whip this up between now and Christmas. I think you can. Uh, Susan, she used her um, her Fisker's handsaw. I did. Be careful when you're cutting. Always be careful. Always use Watch caution. your fingers. Always don't go. know your own limitations, what you can and can't do. Um, definitely. Always put your guard back on. Kathy Always says it needed the red berries. It did. It needed the red berries. It certainly did. I 100% agree. I'm glad we got the red berries. All right, guys. So we are going to gift. We are going to sprinkle, sprinkle, spread the love. If you haven't yet, make sure you do it. Um, real quick before we pick somebody for the tiles and the corks. Um, we're giving away one or two. We're giving away two tiles two? and, a bat, and no, probably uh, about 30 corks. One. Uh, two. One on Facebook, one on YouTube. We're oh. going to pick a YouTube-y friend and a Facebook-y friend. <laughs> Um, I know, I know we're double gifting. So, um, if you haven't sprinkled, make sure you do that. If you're new here and you've enjoyed what you've seen, make sure you subscribe on YouTube, follow on Facebook, and, um, um that way you can see oh, what we have in the future, okay? And all of our fall in the shop is on sale. You don't need a special coupon code, anything like that. You just go there and it's going to say sale. It's going to show the sale price. And um, you can add it to your cart and check out. If it doesn't give you an option to add to cart, that means it's sold out. We are n None of these are items are available on back order. We are not cutting any more of them. So when they are gone, they're gone. So if there's something you've been eyeing for a while from our fall selection, go get it. Go get it before it's gone. Because um, it's not coming back this year. And then the sale starts on page five and back. 
So if you're like, I don't see anything, go to page five and work your way back. And you'll see there's even a few summer things. There was one lone little Easter thing on there. Um, and there was one lone Valentine's thing oh, on there from last year too. Someone that I was found asking the about the saw. Oh, there it is. Um, <laughs> so, and one thing you guys remember with Fiskars, Fiskars is awesome. Fiskars offers, Gosh, I know on the scissors, because I remember somebody mentioned something um, that they they ordered scissors and they weren't working right. Fiskars offers lifetime warranties on their scissors. I would assume it would be the case on their other tools as well. So, but they're really, really good. Reach out to them if you ever have issues and things break, whatever. I've had this saw for two years and I've used it. You guys have seen me use it here a lot. We will have these in the shop. Um, Tim can throw you an Amazon link to, so you can see the saw if you want to. I just did. He just did. He just did. So, well, I, I replied to someone's comments. Okay. Um, but but these will be in the shop soon, and they'll be available online yes. for you guys soon in our shop as well. And so will the scissors and all the other Fiskar stuff that we love. So I promise okay. you, they don't pay me to say that. I just love them. No. You guys that have been here around from day one know I love Fiskars. So, all right, we're ready to pick some names. You ready to gift? Who's ready? Show me some hearts if you're ready. Thumbs up, hearts. Oh, how is that? Yes, Lavanda, they are great scissors. They really, truly are. Shoot, I'm trying to remember that. Right, are we ready to scroll and pick some names? Are we not ready? Are we ready? I'm trying to remember that. What are you trying to remember? It's a SpongeBob thing. Something. I'm ready. I don't know the SpongeBob thing that says I'm ready. Are we ready? Yes. We're okay. Ready. We're going to start with Facebook or YouTube? We will start with Facebook. All right, here we go. Ready? A scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Scro Keep those names a rolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. A winner. Stop. So the and first the name he sees that shows us that you sprinkled is going to be announced. Before you break my Look at all those hearts coming from YouTube. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. And on Facebook. I see lots of hearts. I see lots of hearts there. Ready? There you go. Here we are. And what did I say this was for? This was Facebook? It's Facebook. All right. We have Miss Linny. Is that an I? Yeah. Via. Linny Via. Miss Linny Via. Linny Via. Send me a private message with your address on Facebook. Make sure you do it on Facebook. And we will um, send you two of the tiles that we used and a bag of wood corks. Wood corks. A corks that you can use. They're not wood. They're corks. Um, that you can use for crafting, okay? So now we are going to pick somebody from YouTube. We're going to do the exact same thing, but we're just going to do it on YouTube now. So here we go. Are you ready? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Keep those names a rolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. A winner. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. In the name of love. Before you break. All right, he's writing it down. Here it comes. May I have the sticky note, please? The golden sticky note. Who's the got golden the golden ticket. ticket? Miss Kimberly. This is from YouTube. Miss Kimberly Cato. Miss Kimberly Cato. Send me a private message on Facebook. Pop over to Facebook, Christie's Craft Room on Facebook, and send me a private message with your address, Miss Kimberly Cato, and we will, um, we will send you some stuff. Send you a couple tiles and a bunch of corks so you can recreate this craft and put your own spin on it, okay? But when you do, post it over in the sharing group. Oh, yes. When you any of you guys make this, post it in the sharing group, hashtag, or not hashtag, at tag us. Or hashtag, either way. Christie's Craft Room, either way, it works the same way. Yeah, hashtag let us know. Christie's Craft Room. So, yes, we love to see your guys' stuff. So, all right, we're going to hop off here. But be patient, because it takes me a while to get through all of this Yes, all yes. Be patient if you're in the sharing group. Um, Tim and Trevor um, are doing all of that, and it takes them a long time to get through all the requests to make sure we don't get spammers and scammers in there. There's a lot of spammers and scammers this time. You guys, year, so they have to it's been... It. Normally, normally... Normally, it's about 10% of all requests are, are spammers. That's a lot. Right now, we're running about 20%, between 15 and 20% of all requests and posts 
are from spammers right now. Yeah, so they have to go through every so single we have to, one. Yeah, we have to do each to just try one. to keep it a safe place for you guys to continue so. to post your crafts and um, yeah. So, all right, guys, we're gonna hop off here. We love you. Thank you guys for hanging out with us, and we will see you guys soon. Make sure you go over to the shop and check out the sale though, because I want the stuff out. I want it gone. I want it out. <laughs> so, um, we gotta make room for more Christmas. Okay. All right, Thank love you, you guys. Carol. We'll see you guys later. You guys have a great night.